Welcome to this year's Kentucky three-day event. Day one, a really tough dressage test, this one. A beautiful arena. A lovely sunny day today, and she enters the arena now. Ready to salute the judges. Good salute there. Into a connected trot. Setting up the shoulder in right. A bit of resistance from the horse in that movement. Nice control on the shoulder in. Nice rhythm in trot. It's important that they don't let the horse waver off that diagonal line. Nice control over the shoulder in. Into a collected trot. Coming up to extended trot. The collected trot next. Excellent control on the collected trot. Not a bad canter. Canter coming up. Next marker, connected canter, about to change to trot. Oh, that's a good trot. Well, this backward movement is known as the rain back. A reasonable collected trot then. Moves now into half pass, another sideways movement. Excellent half pass there. On oh, a beautiful half pass there. Nice rhythm in trot. Moves into walk. Lovely rhythm in the walk. Stretching out an extended walk. Next movement, collected trot. The collected canter. Well, the aim of the dressage test, of course, is to get the horse to do exactly the right movement, right at the mark and a very controlled, collected canter. And they lengthen into the extended canter. An acceptable extended canter there. Just shortening up the canter now. Well, you can see her concentration here. Very controlled, collected canter. Into a collected trot. Ready to salute the judges. A good display in the dressage, always a relief for the days ahead. Well, let's look at the placings after the dressage. Oh, there. Day two. Well, the rolling green pastures of Kentucky's Horse Park host the cross-country course four-star three-day event. 
design. The course begins at fence number one, the Rolex Arch, and it's a straightforward and inviting fence that should give both horse and rider a confident start. Well, today we have quite a fog settling in, and that's going to make visibility a little bit more difficult. And out of the start box, and away. And they're taking the first of 31 jumps ahead. Approaching the flower box, and there is quite a wide spread of this second fence. Well, coming up to the Jenny Lane crossing. This horse is really jumping away for it. Excellent. That's just how this combination should be written. She's handled that very well. And they have a choice of routes at this next fence. This is Mort's favourite. I wonder if they're feeling confident enough to go straight. Care over Mort's favourite. Beautiful riding. She makes it look so easy. The cordwood log pile ahead. A big combination ahead of them now. This horse has a great style of jumping. Nicely through Lexington Bank. Jump very well over that. Over the corner option and away safely. The horse was beautifully balanced there. Coming up to the sawmill, a fantastic looking set of fences. Well, horse and rider had great balance over that fence. A good ride through the sawmill there. Great effort there, and this horse is really full of going. No problem there. Looking good through Gazebo Garden. Clear over that. Galloping along nicely now. Coming to the apiary. This shouldn't cause him any problems. Clear through there. Coming to the lake now. My goodness, this horse has a lovely way of jumping. Yes, he comes easily. Even after all his efforts yesterday, this horse is still giving 100%. Just passing the halfway mark now. She's doing really well here. Flying over these fences. These two are really galloping now. This pair coming up to another difficult combination, the sunken road. Jumping beautifully. Cattering along this section now, and that's the way you're supposed to ride the sunken road. Beautifully done. That's a nice line through the poplar maze. This is very impressive. Coming up to the hollows and they'll have to slow down a bit so that they have a chance to contemplate. She's coming in too fast there. That's better. They've got to be happy with that one. Getting a bit closer to home now as they reach fence 25, the cane run crossing. Fence number 26, the water trough, not far to go now. This horse is really jumping low for her. 
and they'll need to slow down a little over the first element or they won't be able to turn in time to take the direct route. Nice controls with a wishing well. Well, she's handled that very well. One more part here. Two more fences to go and here's one of them, the little big barn. And approaching the last fence, the bourbon barrels. Clear over the last. What a relief to see that finish. This poor horse really does look a bit worn out. Over the finish line and the clock stops. This course has proved rather troublesome for these two. That's a fantastic rhyme from this horse. Let's look at the placings after the cross country. They're lying in third place. Day three, the show jumping. This course will really be a test for both horse and rider. A lovely sunny day today. This horse is jumping well for her. Well, she's handled that very well. Gosh, she makes that look so easy. This horse has a great style of jumping. Looking very determined. Here's the first combination. It's just lovely watching these two. The horse and rider had great balance over that fence. Great effort there. No problem there. Here we go. Clear through there. My goodness, this horse has a lovely way of jumping. Here's the first combination. Excellent riding here. Over the finish line. Ah, oh, they've done a superb job there. Let's look at how they stand after the show jumping. Now, well, here are the runners up to this year's Kentucky Horse Trials, so close to that number one position. Welcome to this year's Kentucky three-day event. A beautiful arena. A lovely sunny day today. As they come down the center line, they should be absolutely straight. Ready to salute the judges. Nice salute, and into a collective trot. Excellent control on the collected trot. Now showing the shoulder in. Nice control over the shoulder in. Nice rhythm in trot. And they're coming down the arena and shoulder in. Nice control over the shoulder in. A very nice display of the collected trot there. And now into the extended trot. A good attempt at the extended trot there. Into a collected trot. Canter coming up. Not a bad canter. 
Getting ready to canter. Next marker connected canter. Moving into trot now. Nice rhythm on the trot. Well, this backward movement is known as the rain back. Just missing the transition at the marker. A reasonable collected trot then. This movement really tests the flexibility of the horse. Beautiful half pass. Excellent half pass there. Nice rhythm on the trot. These horses are so fit. It's difficult to keep them calm, as well as letting them stretch out without getting excited and losing control of them. Lovely rhythm in the walk. Stretching out an extended walk, which strangely is probably one of the hardest movements in dressage. Next movement, collected trot. A very nice display of the collected trot there. Just shortening the canter now. Getting ready to stretch now into extended canter. And it is just so important for the rider to make sure that the horse keeps concentrating. An acceptable extended canter there. Just shortening the canter now. Next movement, collected trot. Ready to salute the judges. Well, a good showing in the dressage, always a relief for the days ahead. Day two. Well, the rolling... The course begins at fence number... A lovely sunny day today. And out of the start box and away. And they're on course now and heading for the Rolex Arch, fence one. Heading for the flower box now. This horse is really jumping well for it. Well, nearly at Jenny Lane now, and they just need to be watchful here. Well, she's handled that very well. No choice but to go straight over the walls at Jenny Lane. Gosh, she makes that look so easy. And coming up now to the first of the real questions, this is Fence 5, Mort's favourite. Cantering along this part now, this horse has a great style of jumping. Looking very determined. Coming up the hill now to fence seven, the cordwood. Making their way now to the first really difficult spot on this course at Lexington. It's just lovely watching these two. Nicely through Lexington Bank. Amazing ride, brimming with confidence. A few jumping efforts through there, but they made it. Great effort there, and this horse is really full of going. Cantering along this part now. Coming up to the sawmill, a fantastic looking set of fences. No problem there. Good answers to those big questions at the sawmill.
cantering along this part now. Clear over that. Clear through there. Looking good through Gazebo Garden. Going along at a good gallop. My goodness, this horse really has a lovely way of jumping. The apiary at fence 14 is a big but very straightforward fence. Quite a few options into the water here. Clears the fence easily. Even after all his efforts yesterday, this horse is still giving 100%. Just passing the halfway mark now. These two going extremely well at this point. Going along at a good gallop. Flying over these fences. Well, approaching the sunken road now and the horse will really have to be listening to his rider. Jumping beautifully. Beautifully done. Good ride through the sunken road. This horse just cantering along this part of the course. What a beautiful jump. That's a nice line through the poplar maze. They've got to be happy with that one. There's a couple of options on the route they can take as they arrive at the hollows. This horse is really jumping well for them. And now just the little fort sitting on the top of the hollow. Perhaps a quick breather as they come to the Kentucky Log Park. They're getting close to home as they reach Fence 25, the Cane Run Crossing. Well, she's handled that very well. And on their way to the water trough now. She's really riding. I need to slow down a little over the first element or they won't be able to turn in time to take the direct route. The well, horse and rider had great balance over that fence and nice control there through the wishing well. Great effort there and this horse is really full of going. One more part here. Two more fences to go and here's one of them, the little big barn. Just the bourbon barrels left to negotiate. Clear over the last. What a relief to see that finish. And over the finish line. That's a fantastic rhyme from this horse. Let's look day three. And a difficult course. Beautiful weather today, bright sunshine and a gentle breeze. This horse is really jumping well for her. Well, she's handled that very well. Gosh, she makes that look so easy. This horse has a great style of jumping. Looking very determined. It's just lovely watching these two. Amazing ride, brimming with confidence. Great effort there. No problem there. We'll clear over that. Did they tackle that well? My goodness, this horse really has a lovely way of jumping. This is the first combination. Excellent riding here, neatly over that fence. Over the finish line and the clock stops. What a fabulous way to finish.
Now let's look at the placings after. And here we have the winners of this year's Kentucky Horse Trials, and well done indeed.